You're walking through the woods in search of your missing dog, Ruffles. And now you're helplessly lost and it's beginning to get dark. All of a sudden, a rustling down near your feet. Oh, it's a little, a little furry creature. And it seems to be beckoning you to follow it. Maybe this could leave you to safety. You follow it down a hidden path. Oh, there seems to be another one of these little creatures. And another joins behind you. All of a sudden, in a clearing, there seems to be a village populated by hundreds of these little furry creatures. And what's that in the distance? It's Ruffles. But Ruffles is he's tied to a spit. You break into a run to get to him. But bowlers spin out of nowhere, lashing your feet together and you fall to the ground. Oh no, now they're dragging you towards a big pot in the center of town. Are you and Ruffles going to be dinner? Or are you on a mystery quest? And welcome back everybody to modern Call of Cthulhu and the scenario, Forget Me Not. Previously, our investigators woke up in a crashed car in the middle of a cornfield with no idea of who they are or why they are there. After managing to piece together bits of information, they realized that they're working as a film crew for a TV show called The Supernatural Files. We rejoin our investigators after receiving medical treatment as they progress on their journey. So you guys, it's pouring with rain. You're sat in the back of um, what is apparently quite a large police car. <laughs> uh, really? but, you know, they have them here. You got those big four by fours. Yeah, exactly. Like there's plenty of room. Um, and these, these two cops are in the front and uh, they pull into this sort of kind of rundown, small motel. Um, it's on the, the main road going through Clio. And it's got like a big kind of parking forecourt uh, with sort of 12 rooms um, sort of spaced evenly around. Off to one side, there's an office with what looks like kind of like an apartment behind it. Um, behind this uh, motel is a pool um, and like a little kind of like park, park area. And sort of almost forebodingly, you can see just the, the vacant sign there the this place just doesn't look super busy mm, right um and the 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 cops kind of like bundle you bundle you out of here um okay uh look if uh you need to file a we're gonna have to write this as accident report up um i'm gonna ask that you guys stay out of stay out of trouble okay uh old me and detective itchy trigger finger here <laughs> is <laughs> look we We've got our eyes on you. Um, sure, but, uh, sure, whatever. No worries, if, officer. Uh, you know, anything comes up, thank you. Don't officer. hesitate to uh, to ask. And um, yeah, please, can you stop harassing our police officers as yeah, well? No, sir. Um, yeah. Thanks for your tolerance with us. You're so welcome. Uh, God bless. And, God bless. Uh, God, God bless. Is that <laughs> right? America. I'm not an American. I don't know what they say, but I assume yes. Small town. Off. Jesus, big big deal. Out. They love <laughs> Jesus around these parts. I love. Them. Um, yeah, I think that uh, I definitely look, especially with the the comments about the intimidation, like uh, quite sheepish. Like there's kind of definitely a kind of like, a, oh, I kind of let myself get a bit out of control there, and like being quite quiet and sheepish. Yeah, I think maybe you kind of scared yourself. Yeah. with how aggressively yeah. there was a uh, there was a violence that you, wasn't as was unexpected. You came across, yeah. Um, but yeah, so you um, you stood in now kind of pouring rain, uh, and you can see there is an office off to one side uh, where um, there's like an elderly elderly gentleman um, sat there uh, fast asleep, um, and yeah, then just these rooms uh, to the well. I've got my room number, mm. room yeah. four, same. same. So I might. Say I'm just going to my room and we'll meet up in ten minutes or so. Yeah? Yeah, I think we, yeah. we need to talk more about what happened, right? We can't just I uh, wanna change I mean rest is good, but yeah, yeah. Uh yeah. Everyone go back to your room and we can meet up in like twenty minutes. Yeah. We we ought to find Red and check in with her. Yeah, so I agree. See if you can find anything that um Sure. Well, how, we, how are we supposed to do that? We can't just go knocking on all the different doors. Well, we can ask the guy at the that old man at the, at yeah. 
but, but mo- we should do that now. Yeah, mm, just, okay. you know, splash some water on the face, face and yeah, see if she's around. I, I don't want him to see me in all this blood, so right. I'll all, just go back to the room. Also, we need to we need to ask about you know where we'll you know maybe somebody around here might know where we were doing the shoot. They might know where you know we might have said something, or they might know where we were going where we set the equipment. She might be at the shoot. She might be waiting for us there if she's like the director or something like that. Maybe she Our made her own might way there. Have a production schedule. Or something. Hey, that's a great idea, Kobe. That's a great idea. Act normal. Like don't go around telling everyone that we've all lost our memory. They're going to think we're nuts. Yeah. No, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it looks like something strange has happened to us and I can't wait to get to the bottom of it, but we really ought to record, get this all on camera. We could do an episode about it. We'll start rolling. You want to film. <laughs> Robin Rivers here with an update on our Supernatural Files. We've just, um, we've been involved in a terrible car crash. Zoom. And, um, and I, I didn't take any pictures of it on my phone. Damn. But, um, but I assure you, it was a serious crash and very exciting. So what we need to, what we need, what, we're trying to get to the bottom of the mystery. We've lost our minds, so our memories. A Goodness minute, me, I'm terrible. There's a minute limit on this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> really got a summarize of it. I'll do it in the morning. I'll do okay, it all in the morning. All right. Just get some B-roll. Okay. Um, I don't know why we'll do they it made you the main one. <laughs> <laughs> the rivalry's coming out. You are, fucking suck. <laughs> I should have been the main host. <laughs> Um, I'm sorry. I, for some reason, I can't remember my what I'm doing. <laughs> I think it was that I've lost my mojo. <laughs> <laughs> I've forgotten all about my mojo. <laughs> I've also become an odd British. I'm getting, getting, on, I'm getting right old British. It's fine as you remember. Yeah, suddenly, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, I am British. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you can 100%. Which room are you? Number four. Great. So you can head over to... Uh, your room, the, yep. the key works, and uh, you head inside, and there is sort of like a, a small suitcase. Um, like this is a fairly, it's fairly clean, but a little rundown it's a um, motel, motel room. Motel, yeah. um, just not not the nicest. Is um, it one of those motels where the rooms are all around the pool, kind of like the two tiered kind of? Yeah, right. but yeah. this is only a single a single oh, okay. story. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so there's like a car parking area a like with the, a oh, bungalow yeah. rooms around the pool. Um, with sort of like a front window with a blind uh, leading mm-hmm. out to the outside. Um, and so, yeah, if all of you are cleaning yeah. up, uh, this gonna go back to our rooms. sort of description will apply to each of you that uh, there will be, like, you've definitely got some luggage um, in there, like a, just a, a small kind of like travel bag uh, that you'd guess would have a few days worth of clothing in. Um, all of you will own a black, a black polo shirt that says TSF on it. The supernatural files, um, but in Kirby's room, uh, there's a, a a laptop that is open um, in the room, and uh, there is sort of like hard drives kind of like plugged into, mm. so offloading footage into it. Okay, um, I'm definitely going to investigate. Do I know my PIN number to get into my laptop? Uh, no, you don't have a, a code on your laptop. That's pretty dumb of me to bold. leave that open. You fool. <laughs> uh, Guess we were in a rush. <laughs> but yeah, like you um, just immediately lo- looking at this laptop, you can see that there is hours of what looks like B-roll. I think me being who I think I am, I get focused on looking back at that footage. And even though we said we meet up ten minutes later, I'd be preoccupied of backtracking and finding out what the hell we were shooting. Okay, yeah, hundred um, percent. Great. We'll come back to that yeah. as you you started. I start clicking around, getting, and I get absorbed, getting changed, uh, and um, then you just get obsessed with this this footage yeah. that we'll we'll kind of come come back into. Um, the rest of you guys, what are you doing right now? Are you kind of... I'm going to go back to my room as well, yeah. Okay, sweet. Well, yeah, you head... Um, room 8. Head into your room. Uh, room 8. And similar kind of similar kind of vibe. Um, a few personal belongings. Um, a, a bag with some clothes and stuff. And there, uh, there's a whole load of um, kind of digital audio tapes mm. in there. But there is no player for them. Yeah. Um, you don't know how you'd be playing these. Are the tapes like labeled in any way, or like do they have like any sort of like indication on like dates or anything like that? Yeah, the they are labeled. Um, you can okay. see that these are meticulously organized. 
Um, they have labels on them. Um, they are dated for the 16th and 17th of September. Um, and, we, and the date today we found out was like the 17th of September. Today is the 17th of September. Okay, well, I will I will grab uh, those. Um, and there's no player. There's uh, no, no. So these are like actual like tapes, tapes, basically. Yeah, so it's kind like of cards. a bit of a outdated format. Oh, right, okay. Um, so I need some sort of player. But yeah, you see that going through these tapes, um, it is, they're all listed as, either kind of uh, background foley or um, interviews, interviews that have been done with um, a bunch of different people. Okay, well, I will probably grab like my backpack and like load the tapes into that. Um, uh, and as I'm sort of loading those tapes up into the bag, um, I'll quickly go and like splash water on my face, trying to calm down a little bit as well. And yeah. then um, I'll, I'll go for where we were planning to meet like once I've grabbed all of that stuff. Okay. But I'll take them um, with me. I'll take the tapes with me, basically. I might, I'll probably put the headphones in the bag as well. Uh, I'm just going to give you a list of names that oh, just sure. go through these tapes, uh, yeah. just because um, otherwise I might forget to later. Um, so there is the mayor, Charlotte Coleman, Chief Donald Matthews. There's a few tapes for the Grover family, Joseph Kennedy, James Burke, and Alexis Romanov. Um, those are the tapes. And it looks like there's a couple more blank tapes in this set. Um, Lewis, old Robin Rivers. Um, you go in and you do have a laptop, um, but yours is password protected. Um, that you aren't entirely sure what the password is. Um, password. Password one. <laughs> uh, give me an ideas roll. Just intelligence. 27. Mm -hmm. 27. Ooh. Okay, it doesn't take you too long to walk work out the password is who you're gonna call, and <laughs> you make it nice. into nice uh, into your laptop. Amazing. And uh, yeah, the desktop background is this same photo shot of mm -hmm. all of you together um, in front of this sort of like New England uh, manor house with this uh, redhead girl as well. Mm. And uh, yeah, uh, you just have access to your laptop. No one else in my room? <laughs> no. Hopefully asking. No. Uh, no you Does can... it look like someone else's? Just one toothbrush. There. Roll me a <laughs> roll me a spot hidden. Uh, uh, not a spot hidden. I want uh, no, um, uh, a sanity roll. Oh, a sanity roll. 82. 82. Uh -oh. <laughs> I was going to say, if you'd kept your Ooh, first yeah. roll, you'd be okay. Okay. But exciting things can happen now. Uh, lose four sanity. Whoa! Whoa. Why does that send you so crazy? Um, the toothbrush. <laughs> the toothbrush is so like, is Like, it feels stuffy in here. You do not... Mm. You've got... You want to you be outside. You don't really like being in this room. I walk outside. Um, and then... Uh, last of all, we'll go over to Angel Riley. You head into your room, mm -hmm. um, and uh, you don't have a laptop or anything, but a bunch of clothes and stuff. But you've got a bunch of um, folders and files and books and things like that. Mm -hmm. Like it, it looked clear that you were doing some research. Okay. And there is a Manila folder um, with a bunch of newspaper clippings in. All right. I want to have a little look through those clippings. So you're like the researcher. You're the one who actually like studies everything. I'm and the Robin takes all the credit. I feel like <laughs> I actually don't really like Robin very much because he seems like a bit of an arrogant prick and <laughs> it sounds like I'm doing all the hard work. <laughs> no, no, no. This is it. <laughs> That's you're, the dynamic. It's, it's yeah. the classic cheesy Derek Akura kind yeah. of horror to host who just takes all the credit. <laughs> Who's a medium? Who's his mystical yeah. life? Yeah. Oh, the, the spirits are telling spirits. me. <laughs> okay, so going through um, these things, I'm now going to just give you a, just an information dump. Okay. Do you want to do some? Well, do you want to do some reading for me? Oh, I'd love to. Here Thank you go. His you. first of the newspaper clippings. Oh, you want to read this all out? Yeah. Okay. Uh, in like a cool news voice. <sighs> Cleo team still missing. Cleo, it is. This place, it, the place is Cleo. Yeah. 
Oh, it's spelled good, right? I-O, yeah. not like Cleopatra. Cleopatra. No, C-L-I-O, Cleo. Uh, it has been four days since the parents of 15-year-old Tiffany Jensen reported her missing after she failed to come home from a bonfire party at a friend's house. On Friday, a group of Tiffany's classmates gathered to celebrate the end of another school year, a tradition followed by many Cleo teens for years. The party was held behind the barn of a farm owned by the family of one of the high school students. But it has become apparent that it wasn't supervised and that the underage drinking and drugs may have been involved. It has also become known that a group of kids that partook of another Cleo tradition, scaring themselves by daring each other to enter the long abandoned Cooper house. The Cooper house is a local haunted house where the notorious Andy Cooper went crazy and murdered his wife and child in 1965. According to one 17 year old, a bunch of us walked to the Cooper house and then one by one, we had to go in alone, find something and bring it out as proof. Well, I remember Tiffany going into the house and I think she came back out, but uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> a lot of us were kind of drugged by then. Both state and local police searched the Cooper house and the surrounding cornfields and woods, but reported no sign of the missing girl. Chief Woolman, the Cleo Police Department, issued a brief statement. We are treating this as a missing persons case. There is no evidence that the girl was abducted, uh, nor are we uh, working, working under the assumption that uh, she ran away. Right now, all we know is that Miss Jensen is uh, missing and we are uh, not ruling any possibility out. Thank you. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> uh, Our next story. <laughs> puppies born in the local... <laughs> Here, Mark, I'll let you oh, okay. read. So this is another of the oh, okay. newspaper clippings that you have found. Murdering Cleo by Phil Bressler. Cleo, Michigan. Yesterday, the small farming community of Cleo in Genesee County was shocked to its core when one of its own apparently went mad with deadly results. John Cooper, aged 51, a farmer, war veteran, volunteer fireman, and man held in high regard in his small community of less than 1,800 souls, murdered his wife Edna, aged 45, and their son Thomas, aged 15. The town sheriff was called out to the Cooper house in the early morning after nearest neighbors heard multiple gunshots coming from the direction of the house. By the time Sheriff Snyder made it out to the Cooper residence, both the mother and child were dead. And according to officials, John had mutilated the bodies after death, cutting them open and removing much of the insides. According to Sheriff Snyder, Mr. Cooper was in the front yard when I pulled up. He was splattered with blood, babbling with tears running down his face. He was digging at the ground with his bare hands, cursing at it, and next to him was his pump shotgun. I approached carefully and asked him what happened, but all he would say was, They got to us. Somehow, I don't know when, but they were inside them. My Edna and my boy, they're inside me, too. I apprehended Mr. Cooper without the incident, and once my deputy arrived, I inspected the house and found Mrs. Cooper and her son in their bedrooms in a horrible state. There were several empty shotgun shells on the floor, and it was plain that Mr. Cooper had butchered the bodies after their death. Mr. Cooper is now in a Genesee County jail awaiting arrangement. This was published, by the way, yeah, on yeah, yeah. March 13th, 1965. A little bit of okay. extra information. Uh, and I've got one last story. Uh, would you like to do some reading? Sure. This last one's called No Horrors for Local Haunted House by Susan Marsh. In case you missed it, our very own Cleo was all set to be the site of a horror movie made by a production house from Canada called Seven Gate Films. The star of this show... The long rumored to be haunted Cooper House. According to film producer Trevor Cunningham, we had heard about the tragic story behind Mr. Cooper, <laughs> what he did to his family, and his mysterious death in prison, combined with some of the legends that have been in Cleo for years. And we thought it would make a great setting for a modestly budgeted director David Day horror style film, uh, shot in found footage style. So we contacted the mayor and Ms. Volker the realtor who oversees Cooper House, and we thought everything was a go. So we came down from Vancouver. <laughs> 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 Setting's up, eh? Uh, 
<laughs> on this end. I'm stuck with it now. Uh, I moved early in my life. However, <laughs> some vocal locals uh, also learned of a movie being made about our infamous Cooper House and petitioned the city council to revoke the filming permits needed by the Canadian company to shoot here. Their reasoning behind that a bloody horror movie was the wrong kind of image for the city of Cleo. Proponents of the movie cited the boon to local businesses that hosting a film crew would bring to Cleo. But yesterday, the city council voted three to two against letting the movie be shot here, said Mr. Cunningham. Naturally, we're upset and confused by the ruling. We never intended to exploit your town or any of its tragedy. And many business owners here said that they were happy to have us, but I guess what's done is done, and we'll have to do another haunted house story in some other town that wants us. I'm from Vancouver. Uh, it's a great, great um, Vancouver accent. Fantastic. That was beautiful. Um, Thank you very much. Yeah, so you go through... So there was a previous company that wanted to shoot this mm. story, but they said no. Yeah. Well, they wanted to make a horror movie, or as it sounds like we're more like a Ghost Files kind of like yeah. documentary kind of thing. But have we even it's asked like permission? It's like opening of Resident Evil. Oh my god. Oh. Well, well uh, you know, you're in uh, your own rooms at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Well, I'm, from, I'm smoking a cigarette outside. Yeah, apart from Robin Rivers, who stood. There's like a, a little um, kind of covered Covering. awning that goes around the whole front, and you're Stood there just smoking a cigarette. Trying to cool down. Would I, so I, because I grabbed my stuff because I only had the tapes. Obviously, I'm not going through any information. Um, and I just checked as well. Apparently, I have cigarettes like on my personal. I, I guess I guess <laughs> I'm going through my pockets. Mm. And like, I like, I guess like, as soon as I see them, maybe I feel that desire to like, yeah, one you, up maybe. When you, the moment that you take them out and you look at them, mm. almost instinctually, you just put one in your mouth and light it without even thinking. Yeah. Um, and it just feels natural. It just feels yeah. completely normal. So as soon as I do that, I'll probably step outside and see Robin, like, you know, smoking one as well. And I'll probably go over to him as we were all kind of planning to meet up anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. You, so I'll go and join him. Um, also, I don't know if this is relevant. I have a ballpoint pen and a fountain pen. Ooh. Oh, apparently. Ooh. Yeah. Do I so I find those in my pockets as well? Do they have like anything on them? They're just like pens. No, you've got just two pens. Just in your two pockets. pens. Okay. <laughs> so I'll just put those back. I assume that they're nothing. Some yeah. people just have a couple of pens. Some some shit on them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll just grab my stuff and go over and meet Robin and sort of join him for a cigarette out, out on the sort of like balcony kind of thing. Cool. Yeah. You um. Yeah. You're stood there undercover. The rain is coming down now. It's uh. Yeah. Real yeah. real wet. The sun has set. Um. It's probably about 10.30, maybe close to 11 o'clock now. Um, you'd guess it's been maybe about two hours, three hours since you first came to. Yeah. Um, but you've got a little bit of time uh, Time weirdness. Yeah. Sure. Mm, sure. The, time weirdness. Um, and uh, Angel Riley, are you coming out as well? Because you, mm -hmm. you could have glanced at those splash your face, wash your hands. Um, yep. And you can come and join these three. If you want to keep looking at the B-roll, I'll. it's going to take a little bit longer, but I will have some info for you. Yes, um, I'll, I'll take longer, I think. Just get uh, kind of wrapped up in yeah, it. Yeah, I get wrapped up in it. Uh, so you, uh, you step out and you join these guys. Mm -hmm. um, are you, I assume, are you going to tell them about the... Oh, yeah. The, yeah, definitely. Great. Uh, can you all uh, give me sanity rolls? Ooh, <laughs> Including yay. myself. Um, take one now because it will yeah. come up later. Sure. Ooh, I failed with an 84. Ooh, Success for me. Fun. I passed as well, 48. Uh, if you passed, uh, can you just take one? Mm -hmm. um, Big old fail. And oh my god, Troy, you failed you every failed. sanity roll. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, you are so lucky with these rolls, though. Uh, take another four sanity loss. Four, okay. Um, so if you take five in one hit, you can go, you'll go temporarily insane. <laughs> oh my um, god. You get like but, a quirk or like a weird thing you do. Yeah. Um, All right. Because um, as you talk about the Cooper house, um, you can remember yourselves in your van pulling off of this road that has these green cornfields um, up to this sort of dilapidated barn and the this red-headed woman being like, so here it is, the Cooper house. And with, a, with some excitement and a little bit of trepidation, 
you all get out of your cars and walk towards it. Mm. Yeah. And it's the same fields that where we obviously Correct. woke up. I'm not saying it's those same. exact same But it's corn. similar type. There's of... very similar green corn. Because Kirby never told us that he saw a house, did he? Because uh, you saw a house when you went up on the road. You, I think Tom described that he could see a house in a the farmhouse. distance. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I but I don't think you mentioned that to us. Well, in your vision, different house. That The, far, oh. the house that you saw had lights on. Not that one. Um, okay. Uh, okay. The okay. one from this flashback uh, is yeah, abandoned, and- um, really dilapidated. So yeah, you you mm-hmm. guys have met back up and just exchanged the idea of. So it looks like you're mm-hmm. investigating the. Looks yeah, looks like we're doing this murder house. I mean, doc- that must be where we set up the shoot, right? I mean, it um, must have been. I, I got I got I found a bunch of tapes in my my room, but. I don't have anything to listen to. It looks like we've already done a bunch of interviews with people around the town. It's a, um, like a documentary because it seems they tried to do like a horror, like a slasher, and, and the whole town went mm. like super angry. Um, but the weird thing is, is I found this other newspaper article that said a girl had gone in and had gone missing, but it didn't have a date on it. Mm. I don't know if that's like she's still missing. Or if that was from a while ago. I mean, did it mention any? Uh, I mean, I got a, I got the the names that I got off my tapes here. It sounds like we had, did some interviews, like Chief Donald Matthews, the mayor. Shot. Maybe they might know. Like the chief sounds like the police chief, right? It sounds like maybe yeah. he's the police chief of the town. Boss, did you find anything in your room? No, nothing. No, nothing. Ah, oh, dang. Why don't Why don't we ask the receptionist if she's seen red? And yeah. also, if the girl is still missing. Maybe, yeah. It sounds like if it was a, a story that the whole town knew about, yeah. she might know about it, right? I mean, so this might be from like 10 years ago. It I might don't, be, yeah. I maybe don't know. They might know about it. Okay. All right. And then maybe we can ask about this Cooper house. Uh, it sounds like maybe all of our equipment's there. Maybe yeah. Red's there. You know, it might be that we were on our way. She'd gone ahead of us or something like that. But Yeah, uh, we should go back. We, we Maybe we like, I don't know, like a... A deer ran out or something, and that's why we crashed. Well, so these old places, we know what they're like. There's probably some sort of gas leak in there, or some kind of weird thing that's caused us to lose our minds, or, or we may have just maybe just some, just some shared trauma. This stuff happens all the time. Yeah. We do need to find um, Red and make sure she's okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. But but otherwise, I think this is going to make some great a great episode, guys. <laughs> Yeah, uh, stay sure. positive. For yeah, sure. yeah, 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 yeah. You're yeah. Right, All right, let's go uh, talk. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, uh, it feels like my memory's Kirby? coming back already. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, good. I mean, great. We're feeling, That's great. I'm already feeling great. I think you know, feeling much better. Great. Make me a hard constitution roll. <laughs> Eighty-one. Ooh. Okay. You start coughing. The moment you say you're feeling better already. <laughs> You start coughing violently oh, um, as you're smoking that cigarette. Oh my god! But this is. What? What but he just he just does not stop coughing. You, you we need, need to, to get you. Uh, you need to stop smoking, dude. It's you need to take a vaping. Do I have like? It's yeah, like. Is there a lungs. vending machine? I can get him like a drink or a bottle of water or something. Uh, there's okay. Yeah, we don't need to cough the that's whole really time. That's really convincing. There's yeah. There's um, some vending machines. Um, yeah, I'll go like I've got like thirty bucks. Like I'll get like some ones and get him like a bottle of water or something like that if he's coughing that much. Uh, yeah, you um, you go and get him a, a drink and. Um, there you go. Come on. Uh, yeah, have a sip, and it yeah, you it stops you coughing, and as you have a, a sip, you feel something in your mouth, and you spit it out, and it is like this like bit of meat, like this bloody piece of meat has just come out of you. Ugh. Oh, oh shit. Um, and you are. Definitely not feeling very well. Uh, uh, on second thoughts, <laughs> <laughs> maybe we should go to the hospital. Uh, I mean, that's in the next city over. It's going to take a while, boss. I mean, if, if uh, also, you know what? Uh, take a point of health damage as well. I'm feeling uh, generous. Damn. I'm feeling, feeling generous. Oh, take damage. Chunk of his body just came out of his mouth. Mm. <laughs> oh boy! Unless it's someone else's. Meat. Meat. <laughs> it was meat you've been oh, eating. Oh, meat you've been eating. What the I think that steak was hell? a bit a bit raw. Uh, raw as that's bars. going on, um, if Kirby, if you want to give me a either like a 
like a camera roll or a photo camera um computer use computer use whichever one is better i just want to see how good you are at doing this thing because if you scanning if you, the footage kind yeah because if you can pass really well um, my photo is really good it's like 80 oh shoot okay yeah give me yeah, uh give me a roll on that really yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't forget you can push and use all right as well. we're good 31 31 okay so hard success a hard success yeah, you know what i think going through Going through this uh, camera footage. This is all trackpad, by the way. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, just what a night of fine. Oh, you've got one of those little dial plug-in USB <laughs> if, tools. Yeah. If it's on trackpad, this is going to take you <laughs> weeks. All right, I got one of those rollable mouses. Okay, nice. so, okay, love that. <laughs> nice. Uh, right, you you go through, um, and you, you remember kind of filming some of this footage, just being around the town of Cleo. Okay. Uh, you can picture yourself being at different locations, filming stuff, um, and in turn uh, going up to the um, the Cooper house yourself and filming the outside of it. Um, On my own. Without anyone else, um, getting some B-roll. That's when you had your uh, moment of kind of sanity sanity loss right um uh, that you just remember being there yeah and just have this bad feeling about the place um and uh you make it to the end and there's nothing really that good in um in this footage it seems like what you have is mainly just background shots pick up nothing pick up inside the house nothing from inside the house at all um but you do then Get another another memory. Um, can I have another sanity roll? Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, I failed. You failed. Oh, what my God. a surprise! I jeez, I've never known someone with such bad luck. <laughs> well, the more you fail, the more you fail. Yeah, yeah it gets, that's true. It goes it gets down and down. Significantly oh. worse. That that wouldn't have been a fail. Come on, no. only three sanity. What the hell? <laughs> Down to 40 sanity. Oh, Jesus. I like the idea that you're sat in your room, like, staring at the laptop, like, and suddenly it goes weird. And you, well, yeah, you know. I, yeah, I picture it like, you know, if you're watching a horror movie, you see oh. scanning through it. Oh, Kirby no. see, doesn't see something, but if it was like a horror movie, the audience would see, they like, a little, jump a little figure, like, in the footage, but Kirby doesn't notice. Oh. But I feel sh- on edge. Yeah. You would definitely die first. I'm definitely. Uh, I think hun- he's he's like, going down just, that route, right? You go nuts and just fucking <laughs> I feel like we've die. established the order of death. Yeah. I just it's run into a wall and die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably going to murder you. <laughs> so, as you remember being, you as you see this footage of the Cooper house, you remember being in there Mm. and you have this kind of like audio memory um, that it just like absolutely hits you like a truck. And we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to do a little audio play. It's very short, but that's cool. That's for Robin. That's for Robin. I've highlighted the the bit that you need to read. This is cool. Cool. Uh, Right. I'll just say like, um, so this is, um, what Kirby Dallas is like, you just remember hearing this the moment that you see the footage of the uh, the Cooper house, um, and everyone is panicked. Just have that that okay. kind of energy. What do you mean the door is locked? I, I mean it's closed and locked. I, I can't open it. Wait, where is? Ah! Uh, Robert. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> get away from it! Run! How do we get out of here? Then one voice cuts through the din. Do you want to live? Jesus. Um, I'm in my head. I just pull back away from the laptop, just breathing heavily as I come out of this audio memory. Um, Just heavy, heavy breathing and uh, head in my hands. Just like, oh my God, what did, what did we do? Uh, what do I'm, we see? I'm gonna say you even let out like a, cr- a cry, um, okay, like a yelp as you pull <gasps> back. Sure, I don't want to be near the laptop now, remembering these things. Yeah, so. you can just see, like in a really horrible kind of horror movie way, um, where you did like a zoom on the 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 front of the Cooper house. There's just this like 
half second loop of the camera slowly zooming on the black open front door and it's just that over and over again Jeez. and yeah it is absolutely terrified you i i psych myself up to stand up and slam the laptop lid down yeah i, I want to leave the room do that and you step outside and you join these guys uh drinking some water <laughs> kind of comforting each other um <laughs> and at this very moment you will become very aware that uh the rooms that you are in two of them are next to each other with their lights on there is one between and then Two of you came from two others. You came from rooms three, four, six, and seven. And just seeing the unlit window of room five just becomes very apparent to yeah. you all. Is that Red's room, maybe? The the other I mean, we all would have got the rooms together, right? Or mostly. Right? Yeah. Ugh. Why uh why don't why don't we uh why don't we say to the receptionist that uh our, our friend asked us to get something from her room for her we're driving back to the shoot yeah, and she's yeah. uh she left her like you know a a, a key or something uh, yeah, we, sure. I mean, we need to go in and get it yeah sure yeah yeah it makes sense like yeah, someone one of us should go down there and ask her and things like that i mean i'll just try knocking mean maybe red's asleep i mean it's quite late she might just be in there asleep you know oh yeah but i mean yeah like, yeah so i'll just go up to room 5 and i'll boom 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 Hello? Yeah, there's there's no no answer. You yeah. wait a minute or two. Um, Just no response. Give me like a, a listen roll. Sure. I'm actually, yeah, I've got very good listen actually for a sound engine. That makes sense. Uh, 57. Mm. So that it is, is yeah. silent in there. Yeah. Um, it doesn't sound like any movement, um, any wow. noise whatsoever. The, the lights are she's, off. She's not here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, um, maybe you and the boss go down and mm. speak to the receptionist maybe. <laughs> Yeah, I'll I'll do the speaking maybe. Uh, um, okay, so you've got this, and Angel. Angela. Angela. <laughs> you don't yeah, get even, your name right. How long have I known you, <laughs> River? Perfect. And you don't even know what my fucking name is. Jesus uh, Angie, Christ! Uh, <laughs> you are insufferable. Uh, so yeah, as you approach this office, you can see this like elderly guy. Um, he's mm -hmm. asleep, uh, just behind the counter, and. You have such a strong memory of coming here before. Like mm -hmm. you know you've you've been in this exact spot walking up. This guy was asleep again. <laughs> um and yeah, he's asleep there. There's a bottle of hard liquor um just on the, the counter. Nice. The room is an absolute mess, just paperwork all over the place. Fairly, fairly run down and dilapidated in there. Okay. Um, okay. <clears throat> excuse excuse me. Oh, <clears throat> oh, Oh, hello. Oh, how, how, what's going? Okay. So, <laughs> Hi. Oh, Hi. Don't tell me the toilet's flooding again. No, no, sir. Nothing like that. Um, You might remember me from before I was with the redheaded lady. Oh, yes. You and your friends. Yes. I, I hope you're having a wonderful uh, day. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Um, uh, She's just actually called me she left her uh medication in her room oh would you, it's really important would you, would you be able to open the door so i can just my god uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh medication I, is a good because that's like oh it's so urgent she's right? gonna yeah, die yeah yeah, yeah it's good, good name uh, okay i will give you i'll need a persuade of some kind either a fast talk a persuade right. or a charm and we're going to use a mechanic which is where you can roll with an advantage um, because you'll, I think you will do. Shit. You'll need it. <laughs> I'm going to um, need it. Where basically you can re-roll the tens dice. Nice. Um, and then you can choose the best one that you want. Okay. Um, I would like to do that, please. Sure. Ah, fuck. I was one over. Uh, well, so yeah. you can spend luck and stuff. Right? Oh, yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so spend some luck and spend one that luck. will help you pass. Um, Sweet. Okay, so I pass. Oh, yes, my, my God! If I don't take my medicine, <laughs> exactly I'm, right. I shit my pants. <laughs> okay, no, that's what she does too. It's oh. crazy. <laughs> we don't crazy want her. We Just don't want her shitting bad. her pants now, do I'm, we, sir? Yes. Okay. Right. <laughs> right yeah, I'm away. Girl like that. Um, <laughs> he. Yeah. Uh, but under the 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 counter or kind of beside him there's a big ring of keys nice. and uh, he gets up and sort of comes out the back back of the office and hobbles along this guy is like a 
just absolutely shriveled prune of a <laughs> prune of a guy. Aww. Um Little prune man. Kind of like hobbling along, um, almost like hunched back like ninety degrees in half. Like, oh, huh? your kids, your kids doing okay? You all look a bit a bit worse for wear out partying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We we we've been hitting yeah. it big style and Cleo. Working hard, working hard, mm. hardly working. <laughs> oh, oh yes. Hey. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. There you, there you go. Thank um, you. Oh, thanks, pal. Thanks. Great. We appreciate uh, it. Just let me know if you need anything. I'll be in the office. Yeah, no problem. We'll do. Thank you, sir. Uh, goodbye. Bye, bye now. <laughs> bye Hello. now. And he like just kind of shuffles, shuffles back. It's him. He did it. He's a murderer. He's a murderer. Kill him. <laughs> Fucking kill him right now. Push him upstairs. Oh, they're on to me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see who you really are. <laughs> Take off the ghost hood. John it's Cooper. old man Cooper from the motel. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Um, All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're in. Yeah. Let's just check in and see if there's anything yeah. in here. Mm. We'll look around. Kirby stays outside. And Kirby, looks, Kirby yeah. stay. I like, can you please talk about yourself in third person the whole Kirby rest of this now? Kirby. <laughs> um, that's Kirby's great. staying outside. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea that yeah, Kirby, the in character, he calls in the third person. Kirby don't like going in that room. <laughs> <laughs> Kirby's scared. <laughs> Kirby's scared. Uh, okay, yeah. As you, um, I'm just trying to get my breath back. I'm looking very nervous. Also, can I get from Robin Rivers? Can I get a sanity check from you? Uh, that's a six. A six. Mm. Damn, you okay, great. Same. Yeah. Um, cool. You head inside the room, and yeah, you catch like this ooh, whiff of perfume as you as you enter, and. Um, yeah, it's similar to your guys' rooms. Um, an open suitcase with toiletries uh, and some clothing dotted around. Um, uh, like some some pads of papers and pens and things like that uh, going on. There's a laptop um, on the on the desk uh, that is password protected again, um, and uh, a copy of uh, there's a Stephen King book on the bedside bedside table. Which book? It is the book uh, 112263. That's not the one about the hotel. No. It? No, that's the other one. It's the about shiny. the <laughs> not that one. Kennedy assassination. <laughs> oh. Interesting. Oh. Wasn't there a Kennedy? Can I try um, password? Who are you going to call? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it does not work. Um, I will say hard. Hard idea roll. Um, 30. Uh, so that's, what is your intelligence? Half your intelligence. 45. Oh, yeah. Ooh, what, okay. Who are you, um, you going to call two? <laughs> oh my God, you solved, you solved the riddle. <laughs> uh, the great Vigo. <laughs> the, um, yeah, the idea roll is, yeah, you, you're typing and then suddenly you just have a feeling and you type in the word baby bast <laughs> and... Baby Bast. Baby Bast. Baby Bast. And you can just see. Uh, make a sanity roll. You know, give me some sanity. 55. That is a failure by one. Ooh. Ooh. Can I spend a luck? No, so you okay. can't spend luck on, on sanity. Uh, a luck roll or on sanity. Uh, that makes sense. Makes sense. Um, uh, oh, nice. A five. Finally. <gasps> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Being Great. crazy. He's had the gun. He shoots you. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> <laughs> okay. Five sanity. Yeah. yeah five. Okay. What this is this 49. is absolutely yeah. perfect. So you you're thinking about thinking about this woman, um, and you see her holding a black cat, um, and the the cat has like a little heart shaped collar um, that says Bast on it, and you know that is uh, her pet cat that she absolutely dotes on and adores, and you remember spending time with this cat as well. And then I've got a fun little little story for you. Um, that suddenly you have this memory, uh, this warm and sweet memory um, of this red-headed woman. Um, and it's you guys laying in bed together. Uh, <laughs> I knew it. You've just <laughs> finished making love. You're in each other's arms. It plays out in your mind like a scene from a romantic movie. Um, there's candles, there's wine, there's 
soft music. Um, everything is perfect. Like you feel absolutely content. You feel in love. But then we smash cut to a close up of this redheaded woman's face. Um, tears streaming as she screams. She's shrieking in absolute pain and terror. Gore continues to pour down her face. Her eyes fill up with blood and begin to bulge from their sockets. And then a voice, inhumanly loud and strong, it fills your head, causing pain due to its incredible volume, shouting, THEN YOU WILL DIE! Um, and you are now maybe going mad. Um, So, baby best. Uh, <laughs> lovely little lovely cat. Can you make me <laughs> a, a lovely boy? A, a, um, I need an intelligence check because you've lost five. 24. So you passed. Yeah. Perfect. So, in this game, if you see something absolutely terrifying or if you lose a lot of sanity, you can go uh, temporarily insane. Um, and I will sometimes ask you uh, when that happens that you have to make an intelligence check. If you fail that intelligence check, it means you haven't quite wrapped your mind around what is going on, mm. and it's not that bad. Okay. If you pass, you fully understand what has happened, and then it's really bad. Right. Um, and so, being smarter actually can be kind worse, because yeah. you realise that, uh-oh, uh-oh, so, that so doesn't Robin make So Robin did under has understood fully <clears throat> what's happened in this, because he um, succeeded, right? And I'm going to roll my special, oh, my special Cthulhu Yay. sadness dice. <laughs> sadness um, dice. And there's a fun dice. Ooh. Uh, as you flee in panic, um, you know that that's a memory. That isn't a vision. That isn't something you remember Shit. seeing that happen. You remember her blood splatting onto you. <laughs> and uh, oh, wow. I've run out. I just, very immersive. Is, yeah, I'm um, in fact <laughs> gone. Yeah, like just not even. Um, just like a, a so basically, I have control of you for the, the, the meantime. I'm just gone, yeah. And Robin Rivers just takes off into the pouring rain in the night. <laughs> and that concludes this episode of Mystery Quest, uh, the Call of Cthulhu scenario called Forget Me Not. Uh, it's getting. Getting a little tense. Uh, I'm sure everything will be totally fine. Uh, if you guys want to help us out, uh, continue to make this stuff, um, please consider becoming a, a member on YouTube. Um, it gives you access to a bunch of behind the scenes, and with your support, it allows us to keep keep making this stuff and getting people in, playing these games, and uh, allows them to enjoy more episodes. It's the circle of life. Circle. Until next time, everybody. Goodbye.